Are you excited to be in church? Why don't you put your hands together one more time for Jesus, everybody? Amen. Um, the scripture says that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we should be sad. We should be gloom. Hmm. It's not a right verse. What should be the atmosphere when we come to church? Rejoicing. I said, what should be the atmosphere when we come to church? Rejoicing. Psalm 118 verse 24, the Bible says that this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice. Shouts, we will rejoice. Uh, let your shouts surpass your neighbor's own. Don't allow your neighbor to sit on top of your mouth. It seems that the excitement is from this side. I don't know what is going on on this side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is a happy day. I believe that. I said today is a happy day. And I want to take some time and thank God. And appreciate God for what he's, he's doing, he's done, and he's about to do in our lives. Can I have an amen? amen? The Bible says that we should come into the presence of the Lord with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I know most of you couldn't drive your Mercedes Benz because the car park is full. I know most of you couldn't bring your iPhone 15 because that's not yet been made. I know most of you couldn't wear your best, they told you to wear this t-shirt. But one thing for sure you can come to church with is the Bible says it's called thanksgiving. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Can I have an amen? Let's just do what the Bible tells us to do. So I want you to lift your hands with me to Jesus, everyone, wherever you are standing. Just lift your hands right now. And the scripture says that when we come before God, we need to be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. I know many will take time and curse God, but we have to take time and bless God and magnify him. So lift your hands with me wherever you are standing and begin right now to appreciate God and to bless God. Thank him for the good things he's done in your life. Thank him for the wonderful things that you are enjoying. Thank him for the plenty of things that he has released into your life. Everyone, everywhere you find yourself, just lift your hands and begin to bless God. Bless God, bless God, bless God. Bless his holy name. The Bible says, let's bless his name. His name is Jehovah Jireh, the God that provides. Bless God because you will always have provision. Thank him because you will always have provision. Lift your hands to him and thank him and praise him. Everyone, everywhere, just lift your hands to God and magnify the name of the living God. Go ahead and praise somebody. Yes, go ahead and lift your voice. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I adore you. I pray based on Psalm 100 and verse number 4. Father, your word says, I should come before you with thanksgiving. I lift my hands, oh God. I want to enter into your courts. I want to enter into your presence. I want to enter and have communion, fellowship with you. So Lord, hear my thanksgiving. Hear my appreciation. Oh, we bless your holy name. We magnify you. We adore you. We love you. My God and my Lord. Lift your hands to God and bless him. Lift your hands to God and bless him. Magnify him. Adore him. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. To you will not be all the praise. To you will not be all the glory. To you will not be all the honor. To you will not be all the praise. We magnify you. We adore you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. You deserve the praise. You deserve the worship, Lord. Mandola mashandala manamana. Tela masandola mabarala manamana mama. Let your will be done, Lord. We magnify you and we adore you in Jesus' mighty name. And everyone said amen. Why don't you put your hands together for Jesus, everybody? Come on. Let's show Jesus some appreciation. Hallelujah. Now the scripture says, enter into the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Then he says, be thankful. Can I hear you say, be thankful? Say to your neighbor, be thankful. Say, neighbor, be thankful. 
be full of thanks say neighbor I want you to be thankful hallelujah now God wants us to be thankful when we come before him one of the difficult verses to ever read is first Thessalonians 5 18 which says that in all things or in everything give thanks this is one of the difficult verses what if I lose my money what's the response what if you lose your money what if you lose your house what if you lose your job what if you lose your hmm. you have to take our time <laughs> hallelujah but the scripture says the bible says that the word of God can never be broken so we have to give thanks when we come to church and I know most of you may have may have not yet said thank you to somebody but we can say thank you to God this moment lift your hands with me one more time and find some three things in your life that you want to thank God for just lift your hands and say Lord I want to give you thanks for this and for this and for that for doing this and for doing this and for doing that I'm here to say thank you I'm here to praise you I'm here to worship you Lord you've given me life you've given me breath you've given me strong life and I'm here to say thank you Lord you put me in a family and I'm here to say thank you Lord you fed me this whole week oh God and I'm here to say thank you I've not paid hospital bills I'm here to say thank you I've not lost my job and I'm here to say thank you oh to you be all the praise to you be all the glory to you be all the honor just lift your hands to God and thank him and praise him and worship him my God and my Lord, while we are in it, we will thank you. While we are in the situation, we will thank you, Lord. We will praise you, Lord. We will adore you, Lord. Oh, Rama Shanda Mama Mama Mama. Oh, Lord, we will adore you, Lord. Oh, Rama Shanda Mama 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 Mama. Oh, Rama Shanda Mama 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 Lift in your hands and lift in your voice to God and praise in Him. Praise Him a little longer. My God. Shora Maya Dala Maya Dala Mama. Mount and Fend and Follow Mana Sere Lebo Kabaya Dabaya. We want to say thank you. We want to say we bless you. We want to say we love you. We want to say we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we are praying. And everybody said, Amen. Oh, everyone said amen. If you're excited to be in church, just give your neighbor a high five and say to your neighbor, I'm excited to be in church. I'm excited to be in church this afternoon. Hallelujah. Now next, we want to pray for something very important. We want to pray for help. Everybody say help. How many of you would want God to help you? Raise your hand. Only three raise their hand. Father, do it for them. Good, 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 good. How many of you want God to help you? Wow. Now, Psalm 20 and verse number 4. Psalm 20 and verse number 4. The Bible says that, Grant according to thine own heart and fulfill all thine counsel. We want to pray that God will grant us help. Amen. The Bible says we should come boldly before the throne of God that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I need God's help. Hebrews 4.16. Let me see my hands. Those who need God's help. God's help. God's help. What do you want God to help you with? A lot. What about your, 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 sorry. I don't want to talk about it. But God wants to help you. Amen. The scripture says that he's ever present to help you God wants to help you God wants to assist you in what you are doing God wants to help you in your marriage God wants to help you in your business God wants to help you in your academics God wants to help you in your relationship God wants to help you in your finances God wants to help you in the raising of your children God wants to help you in the building of your house look at it Psalm 46 verse 1 God is our refuge everybody say God is my refuge and God is my strength now this is my path, my favorite path, and a very present help in trouble. God's help is present, it's not past, 
it is present and he wants to help us even right now with whatever we are going through in this life so lift your hands with me and for the next few seconds i want you to say lord according to your wedding psalm 6 46 verse 1 father i need your help i need you to help me and list some things that you want god to help you with be genuine with god be open with god be freer with god don't see him as a big person see him as a friend see him as a father come before him and tell him lord i need help with this and with this and with that and god is going to send his help to you right now even as you pray lift your hands everyone god is our refuge god is our strength he is our ever present help in time of trouble in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ just lift your hands maybe you have a building project maybe you have a business maybe you have some form of work maybe in your marriage maybe in your in your health whatever you need god's help just lift your hands to god and say lord i need your help send me help from your holy sanctuary send me help from above in the name of the lord jesus christ it is a day god wants to help you it is a day god wants to help me let's lift our hands to god and appropriate the blessings of god through the help of the holy spirit and through the help of god in jesus mighty name go ahead and pray right now go ahead and pray in your life in your situation in your current trouble just say lord send me help send me supernatural help send me help oh god send me help i need your help i want your help i need your help if god has not helped me who else will help me if god has not intervened who else will intervene take time and bless god right now oh we give you the praise and glory we give you the praise and glory everyone lift your hands and wave at god and say lord i'm glad you are laying help upon me i'm glad you are granting me help i'm glad you are sending me help i'm glad that as i pray lord you will answer and you are answering even right now in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name send me help oh god send me heavenly assistance in jesus mighty name in my life let me not be helpless lord let me never be without help lord oh glorious jesus send me your help oh god send me your help oh god we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you the honor we give you the adoration everyone said amen and finally we want to pray for the free flow of the Holy Spirit we don't want to impede the Holy Spirit we don't want to hinder the Holy Spirit how many of you over here would want the Holy Spirit to move freely can I see your hand up good the scripture says that there was darkness upon the face of the earth and the earth was void and without form and darkness upon the face of the deep and God said you see and god the bible says and the spirit of god moved first and god said we want to pray for the move of the holy spirit in today's service the same way he visited us last week and the previous weeks he should also visit us today in this service whichever way he wants to visit us holy spirit we permeate we, we allow you to permeate our minds and to have a free flow in our service today in jesus mighty name lift your hands and pray for the move of the holy spirit holy spirit move upon us in this service fill every single person oh god as we have come we've come to be serviced we've come to be worked upon we've come for some things to be changed in our lives we've come for a transformation with you we've come for a new turn of life and with you in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray that the Spirit of God will move upon us in this service. We pray for the free flow of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty Holy Spirit, have your way in this service. Have your way in this service. Have your way upon us. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Come in your strength and your power. Come and do what you want to do, Lord. Come and do what you want to do. Come
come and save, come and deliver, come and change lives. Holy Spirit, we need you in this service. We want you in this service. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, move away all forms of darkness and shine your light. Even in this service, take away all forms of ignorance and shine your light. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, take away all forms of confusion in our lives and shine your light. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give you the praise and the glory. We give you the praise and the glory. Everybody wave at God. We are wrapping up. Just wave at God and say, Lord, we ask you to come and have your way. Ah, come and have your way. Premier every single soul. Premier every single life. Premier every single person. Move upon us, oh God. Move upon us in a new way, a brand new way. Visit us with something new. A new revelation, a new wisdom, a new form of guidance. In Jesus' mighty name. prayer father in the name of Jesus how awesome it is when we come to church and how beautiful it is when you visit us Lord have your way in this service come down our hearts and have your way in this service we give you all the praise and glory in Jesus mighty name everybody said amen